Did you realize that each morning you awaken offers a fresh chance to shape your day? It's an opportunity to craft the experiences you desire. Yet we often let external factors govern our state of mind. Daily annoyances like traffic, the weather, or others' moods seem to disrupt our equilibrium. But what if I told you that you have the capacity to reclaim control? Imagine acting unbothered by anything life presents. It might sound unfeasible, but let's explore this further. We're all acquainted with the advice to not sweat the small stuff. However, in the realm of the mind, there's no distinction between small or big stuff. It's all simply stimuli. You can decide how to perceive and react to these inputs. Consider this scenario. You're driving to work and someone abruptly cuts you off. Instantly, you're flooded with irritation and your heart races. Perhaps you even shout out in frustration, setting a negative tone for your commute and even after reaching your office. However, at that moment of being cut off, nothing substantial really happened to you. There was no accident, no physical harm. It was merely an incident that your mind interpreted as threatening or rude. I'm not condoning reckless driving or justifying rude behavior, but I am suggesting that you have a choice in how you respond to such incidents. You can let it spoil your day or you can choose to remain unaffected. When we encounter something we find unpleasant, our body typically reacts with a chemical release, initiating a fight or flight response where emotions overshadow logic. But what if you could pause that reaction? What if at the moment you begin to feel upset, you consciously decide to override that emotional response? It's not simple, but with practice, you can train your mind and body to stay composed regardless of the circumstances. Acting as if nothing bothers you involves cultivating what I call ultimate life force traits. It's about embracing your inner strength and constantly reminding yourself that you are the architect of your reality, not a casualty of your circumstances. One of those ultimate life force traits is imperturbability, the capacity to stay calm, poised, and unruffled regardless of the circumstances. This trait is the antithesis of being easily disturbed or upset. It embodies the understanding that you possess the inner strength necessary to endure any challenge without losing your center. Another crucial trait is unflappability, which means you are not easily perturbed or thrown off balance. When you're unflappable, you navigate life with grace and ease, preventing external situations from ruffling your feathers or disrupting your composure. Now, you might be wondering, this all sounds great theoretically, but how do I implement this in real life? Well, it begins with awareness. You need to become acutely aware of your thoughts, emotions, and physical sensations at any given moment. When you start to sense that initial irritation or anger bubbling up, recognize it simply as an impulse, a signal from your brain. At that juncture, you have a choice. You can either cling to that emotion and let it overwhelm you, or you can deliberately interrupt the cycle. Take a deep breath, feel your feet on the ground, and remind yourself, I am not going to let this bother me. I am in control of my state of being. It's akin to pressing the reset button on your mind and body, deciding to remain centered, poised, and unruffled regardless of what's occurring around you. And let me tell you, when you start acting as if nothing can bother you, it's incredibly empowering. You'll discover that you move through life with a newfound sense of ease and lightness. Issues that once upset you will barely make an impact. You'll begin to overlook the small stuff, realizing that in the grand scheme, it's all just small stuff. Moreover, here's the real transformation. When you start embodying the ultimate life force traits of imperturbability and unflappability, you'll notice that your external environment begins to adapt. Situations and people that used to irritate you will gradually lose their effect. It's as if you're operating on a new frequency, one of inner peace and centeredness. So how do you reach this state? It takes practice, lots of it. But stick with me, because the payoff is immensely rewarding. Begin by monitoring yourself throughout the day. Whenever you feel an emotional surge, whether someone irks you, you spill your coffee, or you hit every red light during your commute, just pause for a moment. Observe the emotion without judgment or attachment. Breathe deeply and remind yourself, I am not going to let this bother me. 
I am in control of my state of being. Say it out loud if necessary, and let those words become your mantra, your anchor to a state of calm and ease. Initially, this might feel forced or unnatural. That's perfectly normal. Anything valuable requires time and consistent effort. However, as you persist in this practice, you'll notice it becoming increasingly effortless to act as if nothing disturbs you. Over time, this behavior will become second nature. And as you begin to embody the traits of imperturbability and unflappability, you'll see a significant transformation in your life. Situations that previously brought immense stress and anxiety will barely impact you. You'll experience your days with a lightness and ease previously unimaginable. Of course, life will still present challenges and difficult moments. That's inevitable. But with these newfound traits, you'll navigate these with much more grace and resilience. You'll maintain your center, no matter the storms you encounter. So, I invite you to commit to yourself today. Decide to learn how to act as if nothing bothers you. Commit to developing those ultimate life force traits of imperturbability and unflappability. It won't happen instantly, but with consistent practice and dedication, you'll find yourself moving through life with a newfound sense of freedom, ease, and inner peace. And let me leave you with this thought. When you master the art of acting as if nothing bothers you, you not only transform your own life experience, but also become a source of inspiration for those around you. Your calm, centered presence will shine brightly, drawing others to you and reminding them that true peace and empowerment come from within. Are you ready to take back control of your state of being? Are you prepared to embrace your ultimate life force and learn to act as if nothing bothers you? If so, let's begin. The journey starts now, in this very moment, and I promise you the rewards will far exceed your expectations. One of the biggest challenges on this journey is our tendency to get caught up in the narrative of the situation. Our minds begin crafting stories about why something is unfair, unjust, or simply annoying. These narratives only serve to heighten our emotional response, making it more difficult to remain centered. The key is to recognize that these stories are not reality. They are merely interpretations. By detaching from the narrative and simply observing what is happening without excessive commentary, it becomes much easier to respond from a place of calm clarity rather than reactivity. For instance, returning to the scenario of being cut off in traffic, your mind might instantly create stories like, that person is so rude and inconsiderate. Don't they know how to drive? This is going to make me late. Each thought only amplifies your emotional turmoil. But if you can catch yourself and simply state the facts without embellishment, someone merged into my lane, it neutralizes the situation. You don't have to turn it into a major drama about you or assume negative intentions. It's just something that happened, plain and simple. From that place of objectivity, it's much easier to act as if it doesn't bother you. Another effective practice is to reframe negative situations as opportunities for growth. When something occurs that would normally push your buttons, you can choose to see it as a chance to strengthen your imperturbability and unflappability. It's akin to spiritual weightlifting for your serenity. So instead of groaning, oh, not this again, when faced with a challenging situation, think to yourself, excellent, here's my chance to practice acting as if this doesn't bother me at all. Approach it with genuine curiosity and enthusiasm about testing your skills. With this shift in mindset, you'll discover that difficult situations no longer provoke the same automatic emotional reactions. You'll be able to respond from a place of consciousness rather than mere unconscious reaction. Each time you manage to stay unflappable, it reinforces those neural pathways, making it easier the next time. Speaking of neural pathways, understand that when you are actively working to change entrenched patterns and habits, you are quite literally rewiring your brain. The old neural connections that once triggered anger, resentment, or irritation don't have to stay permanent. You can create new pathways of serenity through repeated new thoughts and behaviors. It requires consistent practice, but imagine how liberating it would be to no longer be a hostage to automatic emotional reactions, to navigate life's inevitable ups and downs with grace, poise, 
and an unshakable inner calm. That is the power of acting as if nothing bothers you. As you adopt this approach more broadly, it will permeate all areas of your life, not only in response to external challenges, but also in how you manage your own internal tempests of thoughts and emotions. You'll find it easier to let things slide, to forgive, and to let go of resentments and grudges. Life becomes lighter and more fluid. Ultimately, learning to act as if nothing bothers you is about taking radical responsibility for your state of being. It's about recognizing that you are not a victim of circumstances, but the architect of your reality through the energy and vibrations you emit when interacting with the world. From a place of centeredness and inner calm, you naturally attract more of the same, and the situations and people that used to press your buttons will seem to miraculously fade away. Because you've ascended to a higher level of consciousness, you no longer engage in that old cyclical energy. So I invite you to fully embrace this practice, approaching it with patience, commitment, and even a spirit of playfulness. View every challenge life presents as a chance to expand and fortify those imperturbability muscles and continually remind yourself that you have the power to choose your state at any given moment. The journey isn't always straightforward, but let me assure you, it is deeply rewarding. On the other side is a life filled with freedom, empowerment, and profound inner peace that is truly invaluable. So, let's get started, shall we? The path to becoming unflappable in the face of anything begins right here, right now. One of the foundational principles we need to adopt is the understanding that nothing that happens to us is inherently good or bad. These are merely labels and judgments we assign based on our conditioning. At their core, events are neutral. It's our perception and internal response that imbue them with meaning and emotional significance. Consider a childproof safety lid on a bottle of medication. To a child, that lid is merely a frustrating barrier, but to a parent, it's a crucial safeguard that protects their child from harm. The same lid but completely different perceptions based on context and programming. When we can step back and acknowledge that events themselves are neutral, it becomes easier to act as if they don't bother us because from a higher vantage point, they truly don't. It's only when we become entangled in our personal narratives and emotional triggers that things begin to affect us. Now, I'm not suggesting we become emotionally detached or disconnect from our humanity. Emotions are a natural part of the human experience, but we can learn to interact with them differently, treating them as temporary visitors rather than permanent residents taking up space in our psyche. The next time a situation arises that would normally push your buttons, try this. Instead of rejecting the emotion or fighting against it, simply open your awareness to receive it, almost like observing a cloud passing through the sky. Don't attach to the story behind it. Just feel the pure energetic sensation in your body as it arises, peaks, and ultimately dissipates. You might notice tightness in your chest or belly as anger moves through or perhaps a flushed, heated sensation with annoyance. Rather than avoiding or suppressing these feelings, openly and consciously experience them, but avoid fueling them with mental proliferation, like watching a wave rise and then recede back into the ocean. With this curiosity and open acceptance, you'll find that emotions have far less charge and gravitational pull. They lose their stickiness and create space to pass through you rather than enveloping you and becoming overwhelming. This is key to acting as if external circumstances don't bother you, because here's the core truth. Nothing outside of you can actually bother you unless you allow it to from within. Those triggers only hold power because we've granted them that power over decades of patterning. But in this moment, you can make the conscious choice to retract that power to disengage from those conditioned reactions. It all boils down to recognizing that the locus of control is within you, not in external people or circumstances. As you deepen your practice of dissociating your sense of self from external conditions, you'll likely observe two things. First, you'll find that fewer things in your daily life bother you. Those situations that once triggered you explosively will now seem like mild nudges that you can effortlessly let go of. Secondly, on those rare occasions when you do find yourself momentarily disturbed or off balance, 
you'll recover your default state of imperturbability much more swiftly. The emotional charge won't linger or seep into other aspects of your life. You'll be able to recenter yourself quickly and maintain a steady, conscious calm. This points to one of the profound benefits of cultivating this way of being. You can serve massive amounts of vital energy that was previously wasted on negativity, stress, and reactivity. Imagine what you could do, create, and experience in life when you're no longer draining your life force needlessly. You'll have much more presence, clarity, and personal power to focus on what truly matters to you. Your relationships will transform as you present yourself as a grounded, non-reactive anchor. You'll make decisions from a place of discernment rather than being swayed by every passing emotional whim. In many ancient wisdom traditions, the pinnacle of human achievement was considered to be the state of utter imperturbability, to remain poised, unwavering, and soul-steadied regardless of circumstances, be it poverty or wealth, loss or gain, pleasure or pain. The sages understood that in such a state of imperturbable realization, we become architects of our reality rather than victims of circumstance. We live as conscious creators, unaffected by the ups and downs that disturb those still tied to reactive tendencies and lack of self-mastery. Of course, reaching these heights of self-actualization is a journey of committed practice over many lifetimes, but the beautiful part is that we can begin this path today, right now, by setting the intention to act as if nothing bothers us. With that intention firmly in place, every issue or challenge that arises becomes an opportunity to further stretch and strengthen our imperturbability muscles. We get to practice the art of staying unwavering amidst any storm, and each time we do, we fortify those neural pathways of inner calm and reinforce new patterns for the mind and body. Eventually, being imperturbable, unflappable, and acting as if nothing bothers you will become your natural, embodied state of being. Not something you have to work at, but how you simply experience yourself moving through life, poised, grounded, soul-centered. From that bedrock of realized equanimity, your actions, choices, and creations will flow with harmony, wisdom, and grace. So keep training, keep practicing, keep recommitting to the intention every day. Celebrate your successes, have compassion for yourself on the days that are more challenging, but never give up on your ability to master the art of acting as if nothing bothers you. Because in doing so, you'll be doing more than just mastering how to navigate the fluctuations of life's ups and downs with finesse. You'll be undertaking the supreme spiritual work of reclaiming your divine birthright as an empowered, sovereign creator being. This is indeed the grandest journey any of us can embark on in this human experience. So, let's journey together, shall we? A life of profound freedom and unwavering inner peace is waiting. At the core of this journey is the understanding that we are not merely our thoughts, emotions, or external circumstances. We are the conscious awareness observing all these transient phenomena. Thoughts come and go, emotions ebb and flow, and situations constantly change around us, but our true essence remains unaltered, a field of pure potentiality untouched by the dance of impermanence. When we firmly root ourselves in the realization of our deepest, most fundamental self, the world around us changes its hue. The challenges, frustrations, disappointments, and grievances that used to trigger and disturb us lose their impact and gravitational pull. We recognize that all those experiences are merely temporary visitors within the infinite expanse of our being. They arrive, we witness them with open curiosity and acceptance, and eventually they depart like clouds drifting across a wide open sky. Our unshakable essence remains serene and undisturbed. This isn't about bypassing or ignoring genuine human feelings and experiences, far from it. It's not about becoming numb or disconnected from the richness of life. On the contrary, by not resisting or attaching to the transient phenomena around us, we open ourselves to experience everything with a vividness and depth that simply isn't possible when we are bound by our reactive patterns. Recall a moment when you laughed until you cried, felt waves of soul-stirring gratitude, 
or looked at a newborn baby with awe. In those moments, were you worried about a previous upset or the driver who cut you off? Of course not. You were fully immersed in the beautiful energy and truth of that present moment. That is the essence of acting as if nothing bothers you. It's not about shutting off or hardening, but about opening up a radical availability to whatever riches the moment has to offer, unmarred by the mental baggage we often carry from old habits. When we taste that freedom of being fully present and unbothered, something within us remembers. We remind ourselves of the truth of who and what we are at our core, an infinitely present awake field of consciousness that can never be truly disturbed, no matter how intense the winds of change around us. And we realize with a gentle sigh of recognition that this is our true home. From that place of centeredness and realization, our entire perception shifts. The events, situations, and triggers that once seemed so potent now appear insubstantial. We can interact with them, engaging from a place of creative flow and conscious choice, rather than being hijacked by their familiar patterns in our psyche. As we continue to strengthen this new posture of being, the interpenetrating dimensions of energy, emotion, and physical reality all align in kind. Just as the mind shapes matter, the imperturbable state of our consciousness begins to effortlessly reshape both our inner and outer experiences of life. Situations that would have deeply bothered us before no longer even arise, because we no longer resonate with the fields and patterns that used to catalyze their manifestation. We've shifted our home frequency to a plane of harmony, synchronicity, and creative mastery. The people who used to trigger us and push our buttons may still cross our paths from time to time, but it's as if they're no longer speaking our language. Their energy merely ricochets off our centered, imperturbable force field without leaving so much as a scratch or dent. We don't have to fight them, avoid them, or even engage them. We simply allow them to pass through our sphere, unconcerned and unbothered. This is the profound alchemy and grace of anchoring our identity in the deepest ground of being, where we realize our ultimate sovereignty. External circumstances can swirl around us in their cyclical dances, but they hold no dominion over the unalterable peace and truth at our core. From that invincible space of imperturbability, we become true forces of nature ourselves, not battered and shaped by the winds and waves of life, but powerful vortices that harmonize those elemental forces into higher degrees of order, creativity, and blessing for all. This path is not about transcending the human experience, but fully integrating and embodying the totality of who we are, vulnerable, feeling beings of flesh and emotion, yes, but also eternal, limitless consciousness that cradles it all in the perfumed embrace of our imperturbable true nature. So, let us walk this path with humility and patience, savoring the profound stillness available in each moment, no matter the surrounding turbulence. For it is only through this radical ease of being that we ultimately blossom into our greatest human potential and become the unwavering lights the world needs at this pivotal time. When nothing bothers us, we become the unwavering peaceful presence and clarity that help dream a new dream for our world and all its beings. That is the power and great privilege of this journey. I'll meet you there on the unbothered shores of the possible. One of the core inversions we must make on this journey is to shift our locus of identity from the personal, egoic self to the vast, transpersonal expanse of consciousness itself. As long as we remain firmly rooted in the mirage of the separate self, we will continue to experience the world through that filtered lens of me against other, which gives rise to so much of our suffering and disturbance. But when we manage to disidentify from that narrow sense of self and recognize the deeper unified field of pure awareness that we truly are, everything shifts. The triggers and upheavals that once intensely bothered us begin to lose their sticky charge like riptides diminishing their fierce pull in the vast, endless ocean. This transformation is not about rationalizing our way to being okay with undesirable circumstances. 
Rather, it is about a profound reorienting of our very beingness, akin to tuning into a different radio channel. Whereas the ego mind seeks to control and micromanage reality based on its preferences, this transcendent eye of spirit simply observes, allowing whatever arises to unfold with perfect naturalness. There's a deep letting go involved here, letting go of clinging to pleasure and avoiding pain, letting go of our ingrained reflexes to accept or reject, to cling or repel. Like a leaf carried by the seamless currents of the wind, we surrender our habitual controlling tendencies and become an open vessel for the ceaseless flowering of life itself. Of course, achieving this is easier said than done. Our ego patterning runs millennia deep, reinforced by lifetimes of forgetting our true nature and mistaking the personal self for the entirety of who we are. Thus, it requires tremendous commitment, dedication, and gentleness with ourselves to untie these ancestral knots. A particularly potent practice is to continuously pause throughout your day and feel into the open, spacious awareness that is present in this moment, right here, right now, before your thoughts define it, before your emotions color it. There is a simple, pristine presence, the pure subjectivity beholding this present experience, unbounded by its contents. Can you feel that unconditioned awareness surrounding and substantiating every perception, every thought, every sensory experience? That is the very essence of your being, older than the universe itself, and yet fresher than this present moment. When you temporarily disidentify from all the learned beliefs, memories, preferences, and labels, what remains is the simple, lucent ground of your awakened nature. From this spacious expanse brought into living presence, the experiences that would normally bother you exert much less gravitational pull. You begin to experience them almost as if observing a live theater performance, engaging, immersive, possessing a certain dramatic weight and momentum, yet always occurring within the open, unbothered awareness that you are. Thoughts, emotions, and external circumstances become more like temporary guests in the abiding awakeness, rather than burdens you must carry or prisons you are confined within. A natural buoyancy arises, allowing these elements to come and go and be as they are, without weight or fixation. And it is from this free, centered, unbothered state of pure allowing that your true creative powers arise, no longer encumbered by the gravity of resistance. You become a conduit for higher harmonies and greater possibilities to flow into reality. The universe expresses itself through you as a holographic instrument of its own evolution, orchestrating symphony after symphony of sacred unveiling. This transformation does not necessarily mean you will no longer encounter intense emotions painful circumstances or the full spectrum of human experience. In fact, you may discover that you can feel these experiences even more deeply and vividly when you are not suppressing or filtering them. However, the context in which you experience them will have shifted. You will be able to embrace and feel the intensity of these experiences within the vast, unbothered openness of your being, like a vivid dream occurring within the seamless continuum of consciousness itself. This means you'll suffer less, reside more fully in presence, and welcome each experience as a revelatory homecoming. Throughout it all, there's a deepening realization, an understanding that the all-pervading peace and wholeness you've been seeking was never separate from you. It is the very essence of who and what you are, beneath all the conditioned ideas and mental projections of a separate self. The ultimate homecoming is when this recognition blossoms into the direct, living experience of your eternal, imperturbable nature as the One Self. Continue returning to that source awareness, that still point of presence throughout your days. Let it be the open embrace within which everything arises and returns. Immerse yourself in its unshakable peace and its unwavering acceptance of what is. From this space of radical, non-dual embrace, learn to act as if nothing bothers you, not because you've adopted a spiritual bypass or a mask of apathy, but because you've realized the vivid truth of the infinite and eternal. Every experience, no matter how charged, is welcomed home to that vast, 
all-encompassing ground. This is the great unfolding that our beings are tuned for, the full blooming of our enlightened nature. Difficulties and challenges still arise, but like a force of nature itself, we meet them with imperturbable wisdom and indestructible presence. It is the living embodiment of the sacred and the ultimate healing for a world swimming in disturbance. So let's walk this path together, utterly committed to resting as that unbothered, unsurpassable expanse within which all worlds appear and disappear, dream after dream. In doing so, we become the very source we've been seeking, the unwavering ground the universe longs for, and our light and peace ripple outward, quietly ushering in a new dawn of sanity and sacred self-recognition. We have the power to be that transformative presence right now in each passing moment. All that's required is that we choose to act as if nothing in truth can ever truly bother us, for we are the home in which all experiences arise, beloved and eternal.